All right. If this isn't the prettiest hunk of aluminum that you've ever seen in your life, I don't know what is. <laughs> it weighs, the chassis alone weighs 5.2 kilograms or 11 pounds. It sort of looks like a high-end audio CD DVD player, but it's not. It's a fully functional, passively cooled home theater PC. There is this point in your life where you feel like the college stuff uh, has, you know, stretched out a little bit and lasted you long enough. It's it's like your your cheap hand-me-down computer or your eBay TV. And there's this point somewhere in your late 20s or in your early 30s, hopefully before you're 30, that you feel like, no, I'm gonna buy something nice I'm gonna buy something that does exactly what I need and what I want and that's this for me I built this one um, somewhere in 2013 and at the time we had a bunch of devices we had um, desktop laptop external hard drives and our data was just scattered all over the place and when we were just trying to watch a movie or something we had to figure out where it was and so I was like wouldn't it be great if we have a device that just hooks up to the TV and it has everything that we have and room to spare so I added up all the all the data that we had and it was maybe somewhere between uh, one and two terabytes of data that that we had all over the place. And so I wanted to plan for four terabytes because that was feasible at the time um, with the hard drive capacities and the prices and stuff like that. So then I went looking and I was like, yeah, okay, but this thing is going to live in our living room. So I don't want it to be like my desk. My desktop PC was already pretty quiet by itself, but it's not like totally quiet or whisper quiet. And if this is going to live under the TV, it better be fully quiet or like 99% quiet and so I started looking and then I found this case this is a Streetcom FC5 Evo I believe um, so this is an old old version they have they have something new out that they have a newer version um, but it looks very similar it has some upgrades here and there I, I don't even know what they are but I found this case and as you can see, it has all these nice cooling ribs on the side. <laughs> and you, you're guessing what that's for. Well, you already know <laughs> because this is to just cool the components that are inside. And it has this little, you know, row of, of cooling vents and and everything but there's no fans at all inside this computer in fact there's not even a power supply inside this computer well technically I don't know maybe there's half a power supply inside this computer so let uh, oh wait before I open it up let's turn it on so I can you know back up my claims that it's actually silent so in the beginning uh, the hard drives will spin up so you will hear something but they should calm down after the boot sequence oh yeah that's one thing that I forgot to mention uh, so we when when did I build this about 2013 so laptops and stuff and desktops didn't have um, drives anymore or like uh, disk drives 
or the, um, most of them came with that. So this is actually our single device in in the whole house where you can still put this in. So I specifically wanted, there, there's a version of this chassis that doesn't have the optical disk drive, but since we didn't have any at all anymore, I wanted one that did so I could, you know, play my old CDs and DVDs and stuff like that. So I put in um, a DVD burner here. So now let's see what's on the inside. So what do we have here? Okay, um, we have our DVD burner. Oh, one thing, if you're commenting about dust, I did that on purpose. Because I was gonna clean this before I made this video, but then when I opened it up, I was like, hmm, let me show people how much dust gets inside this computer after six months. I haven't opened or cleaned this in six months. So there's just a tiny little bit here on the DVD drive. And this is all still shiny like it's new. <clears throat> so that's another benefit of a passively cooled computer. You're not sucking in air because you're not... You're not, you're not sucking in dust because you're not sucking in air. Um, so this chassis, I believe it originally doesn't house um, three hard drives and an SSD, but I wanted it to. Because if I'm going to store all our data, then I want it to be, you know, somewhat safe. So I wanted a RAID 5 array with at least with three drives. Um, so there's one here, there's one here. There's one here. It's uh, three two terabyte drives. Those were the most uh, cost efficient in 2013. I don't know what's most cost efficient right now. They might still be because the prices of hard drives haven't changed that much. So maybe maybe now it's four terabyte. I don't know. I haven't checked lately because I didn't need to. Um, so that's my storage. Uh, with a little bit of redundancy there's an SSD down here in between those uh, this chassis um, doesn't support that but I just uh, made it support it <laughs> so I just drilled some extra holes so I could mount the hard drives and the SSDs in the places that I wanted um, and then um, at also, if you've seen my previous video about my old desktop, uh, you probably get a sense that I usually buy AMD <laughs> because it's usually the price performance is so good. But for this, I needed an ITX motherboard with a power efficient uh, CPU that supports RAID. And I couldn't find one in, in, well, you can look it up yourself. It didn't exist at the time. So I had to buy this Intel and, and they had this awesome low power version. It was a 4570S. It was 65 watts. And I believe this case has a maximum passive cool, cooling capacity of... 80 or 90 watts so I wanted to stay way below that to not have the potential of damaging the the CPU and stuff like that so 65 that seemed great and well nowadays you can get um, 65 watt um, desktop processors easy uh, AMD has a bunch the well the the regular lineup is uh most of them are I think what what are they 
like 115, 130, something like that. But you have, uh, or 90. Some of them, yeah, it varies. But there are 65 watt desktop processors. Uh, not, not even the low power ones. And the cool thing about this chassis, this 3Com um, FC5 Evo is it comes with this plate. So your processor, your CPU is right there and you have this, this uh, mounting bracket with these full, four heat pipes and, and you uh, put the cooling paste and whatever the thermal paste you put that around those pipes you sandwich it in between two plates those pipes go to the side wall and then more thermal paste a lot a lot a lot it, it's like um, you can watch games nexus if you want to know how much cooling paste is too much and then this is just um, pressed against the side and then this side gets it doesn't get too hot it doesn't get too hot to the touch even if you're you know you're playing 4k or whatever whatever you're doing with this i mean this is not a gaming pc at all this this is just playing this is just browsing streaming playing video of the hard drives this just gets warm and so if you it's just warm to the touch so maybe 40 50 celsius or something like that so like a 100 120 fahrenheit something close like that you can still touch it easy and, and it just feels warm um and then uh yeah a couple of uh, months ago like six months ago for some reason the the ssd just didn't work anymore it, it just stopped working so I didn't want to mess with it and I just got a new one and so I just put a new one in so yeah and it has um, 8 gigs does it have 8 or 16 I think it no 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 it no it has probably 8 gigs <laughs> It has eight gigs of RAM. Uh, crucial ballistics. Um, another cool feature of the chassis is there is room for an expansion card, but only a single wide card. So some people use this for like um, to put in like a small video card or a small audio card to play to play digital music. In, in a very silent uh, chassis then of course if you're that obsessed about silence then you wouldn't use hard drives and you just use SSDs and you don't hear anything even though this is pretty silent <clears throat> you probably want it even more silent so yeah this is my HTPC and it's been working great for eight years and I hope it will work for another eight years. I, there's one one problem though that the the RAID controller is on this motherboard. Um, so if this motherboard blows, <laughs> then I have a really big problem trying to get this data back from these hard drives. And at the time, I didn't know that you you know all the the software RAID, the unRAID, and and all that all that stuff that you can do now I wasn't aware at the time but now it's set up I probably well motherboards don't give out that easy don't they <laughs> I've never had a motherboard fail that I, I mean if it if it if it's working for eight years then probably what will give out first is like the SSD that, that went or one of the hard drives so yeah in the next iteration I would not do a hardware raid uh, because <laughs> since I bought that board eight years ago it's probably gonna be very hard to find 
the same board to get my data back. So that's one thing that I wouldn't do again. I, w I would do a software rate so that it doesn't matter that if the board fails, that I can still, you know, keep it running, just put in a new board and will work like nothing else. Okay, if you like this kind of stuff, do this. You know what it is. And uh, thanks for watching. And I have another um, computer video coming up. I, I said it in the last one, but I figured I was going from old to new. So this is the middle one. I did the 2005 desktop or 2005 slash 2011. This is the 2013 and there's going to be a 2020 desktop soon. That is in a custom case as well. I don't like uh, regular cases. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye.